Welcome to the Todd and Don Show. Come on. We're live, and we want you to join us at 512-836-0590. Now, here are Todd and Don. What do you want to do with this sick man that threatens so many kids downtown? Yeah, that man that threatened to kill small children at a church preschool playground appears in court later this morning. My Fox Austin reports this man, 33-year-old Damon Horner. He's been arrested 20 times since 2007. Good night. What do you want to do with this mentally ill man that is threatening children on the streets of Austin, Texas? I I can almost guarantee you that he'll get 30 days in jail and he'll be back on our streets. Does he have to kill a child before we actually do something with him? Yeah, it's got to get serious. There's only two things. There's only two options with this guy. There's only two options. And one option is the most humane. That's heavily medicated, strapped to a bed the rest of his life. Yeah, essentially. That is the most humane thing to do No, this with guy, this guy. That what, is the most humane. What's the other one? Would you rather not say? I know what I would do if yeah. uh, some homeless man was threatening my children, mm-hmm. preschool age, on a playground, yeah. with a knife. Right. I yeah. know what I would do. Right. What would you do? Right. Exactly. What would every father listening right now do? Yeah, it, it would be... So the judge that's listening right now to this case, you better do something to keep him safe and keep our children safe and keep his ass <laughs> off the streets. When you have someone that has been arrested 20, 20, 20, 20, think about that, 20 times since since 2007, you have someone clearly who, has, who does not have the ability to to live among us. He doesn't know how to do that well. Oh, by the way, this is the second time that the police had to come because of him at that preschool. Okay, then you got that. So he can't live among us anymore. He can't. No, no, no. He he needs to be permanently incarcerated. That's what we're talking about. For his own safety and the safety of children. We, 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 We got rid of all these mental hospitals, and that was a big, big, that, that, or, not even hospitals, you know, mental wards and whatever. I mean, we got to have a place where people live because they can't live among us and they live there for the rest of their lives in many cases. Well, if the judge, uh, just, if the judge uh, I just have a gut feeling that the judge is going to drop the ball on this one because local judges have actually written essays to talk about how, how, how they're going to go easy on people like this. This is the way this character has been on our streets after being arrested 20 times. 20. Where where would your life be if you were arrested 20 times in 10 years? What do you mean? I mean... Uh, uh, My point is there's two different judicial systems. One for him and one for you. You'd be locked up longer. You'd be in a mountain of debt. You would be isolated from your family. You would be incarcerated much longer for threatening children with a knife. You as a person that has a job and a career, if you walked into a school and started threatening people with a knife... Your ass is going to be locked up for decades. Right. He yeah. will be back out on the streets in 30 days. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, he's just, he can't help it. It's uh, it's, it's, it's he terrible. He needs to be strapped to a bed, heavily medicated, or the more you, humane, another humane thing, euthanize him. Well, I'd be a lot of people that agree with you on that. I is mean, that it, wrong? Is it, that wrong it, of me to say? Is that well, a bad thing? It's, uh, it's, it's, what's, what's the other option? What are our options in the in the in the uh, the uh, the spectrum of options for dealing with this guy? Yeah. What are the options? Well, Lock him up for thirty days, throw him back out on the streets so that he could be victimized or he can victimize other people. That's that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. But what are the other options out there? Yeah. You know, after you've been arrested twenty times, it just seems like you you by the, by now you would have lost your privileges to. To live outside, to live out. You should you know. have lost your freedom by now. Yeah, he, he should be at the very least. He should be incarcerated I, for the rest of his life. I guess. I guess. I guess what has to happen? A child has to die. We need another. We need another store manager to be stabbed in the in in the back from a homeless person. Yeah. We need we need another group of women to be uh, jumped on the streets crossing a pedestrian bridge. I know. We need we need another business owner to be uh, ra- raped at knife point as she's opening up her business in South Park Meadows. Yeah, and then we have Vince. Where does it end, Mayor? Yeah. Where does it stop, Mayor? When, when do you finally do something to protect people, just the average children, children at a preschool downtown? Yeah, that's right. How, I don't understand how the, why... The community is not more outraged. Let's talk about all the business owners that are paying such a price right now as well. I mean, it, it, it goes on and on and on. 
So yeah, it's it's yeah. What is the line that has to be crossed here? And I'm not sure. It would be right cr- now. It doesn't feel like there is one. It would be cruel. It would be very, very cruel and inhumane to allow this man back out on our streets without the intent, the medication that he needs. Yeah. It would be cruel and dangerous. Cruel to put him on the streets and very dangerous to put him on the streets around us. Yeah, he, can't, he can't be around us. I, I don't. I, of course, I don't know this guy. It doesn't have the feeling though of. Of someone who's evil, it has the feeling of someone who's just really, really sick. He's sick. He's really, really sick. He needs medication. Yeah, Heavy yeah. medication. Yeah. And, and he is a danger. Clearly, oh, he's a danger. Yeah. What he needs is medication and somebody to occasionally wipe the drool. That's 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 the <laughs> only way he's going to be safe, and that's the only way a playground is going to be safe. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Am I wrong? Am no, I wrong? Am no, I wrong on that? No, you're not. Then how then how can we can't get a local judge, a mayor, maybe even a police chief to stand up and say these things? The real reality of what needs to happen. Because that would be awkward. Oh, I got you. Yeah. All right. That yep. would be cumbersome. Well, hey, if that's the way uh, I, I mean I just wonder if people are taking their kids to that yeah. daycare today. That would make people uncomfortable. 512-836-0590.